Hello, this is Mark LaRochelle from Productive Computing and ProductiveComputingUniversity.com. Thanks for joining me on this video. We are talking all about webhooks. By the end of this video, I hope you'll be convinced that Claris Connect is perhaps the best and only way to go when it comes to setting up webhooks for the Claris platform. So first, what is a webhook exactly? A webhook is a method for one system to send real-time data to another system as soon as an event occurs. It functions as an automated notification between applications over HTTP. This is a fancy way of saying, when something happens on the web, let's get notified about it. So let's look at some examples. This first example is when you have an e-commerce website and you want to be notified every time an order arrives. New order, you want to be alerted to that. You can set up a webhook on your e-commerce website. Maybe you have a Shopify account or you're using Magento or any number of web shopping cart systems. When a new order comes in, it sends out a webhook request and then action is taken. Typically, you'll be notified through an email or through a text or through some other mechanism. Another example is payment gateway confirmation. Maybe you want to be alerted every time a successful payment happens. Or what is the amount? Where did it come from? What country did it originate from? What kind of credit card was used? A lot of businesses and organizations use a SaaS platform. These platforms have all kinds of events that happen during the course of a day or a week or a process or a procedure. Sending a webhook notification keeps you in touch and in tune with those SaaS platforms. And by using the new Claris Connect custom connectors, there's almost no limit to what you can connect to so long as it has an API. Next, we have a content management system also known as a CMS. A great example of this is something called Asana. Asana allows you to manage projects, tasks, priorities, and schedules. It's a completely built CMS system that can also send webhooks. Incidentally, Claris Connect has a direct connect to Asana. Another example is Internet of Things devices. Let's say you have a temperature sensor out in a greenhouse and you want to know exactly what the temperature is of that greenhouse every hour, or perhaps you want to be notified when the temperature of the greenhouse exceeds a certain level so that you can then invoke another action, which is to maybe turn on an exhaust fan or turn on air conditioning or some other mechanism. When one action happens, another thing takes place. These are typically done through a webhook mechanism. Let's go over a few more examples. Let's say you have a chatbot. When a new person comes in and begins a chat, you'll be notified in some way. This is typically done through a webhook. Social media mentions. Perhaps every time the company name or the organization name is mentioned on social media, or perhaps you're doing a fundraiser for a nonprofit and you want to be notified anytime someone mentions something, you can have these social media platforms send a webhook out so that you can be notified when things happen like that. There are many services that you can purchase or subscribe to that will send webhooks based on conditions like this. Let's say you create a survey response, whether it be SurveyMonkey or your own homemade survey that you've created with Claire Studio. In any case, you'll want to be notified. Then we have ticketing systems such as a tech support ticket system or some other customer request. Maybe a customer is requesting information. All of those requests need some form of action again, typically handled by a webhook. And finally, one last example, calendar event notifications. When a new event has been added, when we're one hour before the event, when we're 15 minutes before the event, or even a follow-up after the event, a day after the event to send more information or just to create a follow-up type activity, all done through webhooks. Now let's take a look at comparing the complexity of creating a webhook in a traditional sense without Claris Connect along with a side-by-side -side with what it would take to create a webhook with Claris Connect. So first, one needs to create a hosting environment. Webhooks don't just happen out of thin air. You need an actual web server to listen continuously and be prepared for incoming events. Generally speaking, you can think of this as a web page waiting in the wings, waiting for a signal or an open socket, waiting for Incoming information. Creating a hosting environment to host your webhooks is not something that just happens with the click of a button traditionally. First, you have to decide where you're going to create this so-called web server. Do you use Amazon Web Services? Do you use Microsoft Azure? Do you create something homemade where you create a server in-house? Or do you use some third-party hosting service? Okay, so then once you decide the provider, you actually have to procure hardware or virtual servers 
set them up. You have to decide how big they're going to be, how much compute you need, how much RAM you need, how much storage space you need. You need to set them up, configure them, decide what operating system you're going to use. Are you going to use Linux, Windows, or even Macintosh? Are you an expert in those languages? Have you ever set up a web server before? Do you understand the complexities of the security and what ports to lock down? There's just a number of things you need to do to protect and procure that server. When it comes to Claris Connect, it's a click of a button. New project. Boom. My web environment, my hosting environment is completely done for me. That's it. I'm done. One button. Next, we have the implementation of the web server or function. So besides getting a server set up and protected and configured, you need to now get that machine in a place where it's actually publicizing or publishing a, an open socket or a page that can receive incoming information. And that page needs to be traditionally locked down with an SSL certificate that's dedicated. It requires procuring a domain and understanding all the ins and outs of procuring a domain. I mean, there's just a lot of technical things that need to happen in order to do this. With Claris Connect, that's all handled by Claris. The one click of the button to create a new project sets up the environment for all the security, the domain construction, how the links are generated. Next, we have to create an endpoint URL. This is where you carve out a certain part of that server with a path that indicates what URL that person is going to use in setting up the webhook. That's the actual URL where the information is sent to. And here in Claris Connect, that is one click of a button. Next, we have security considerations. Those things that I mentioned, SSL certificates, dedicated domains, locking the server down, protecting it from traditional viruses, malware, firewall, dedicated IPs, whitelisted IPs. What's the scope of where that server is available? Exactly how is it networked and configured? I mean, it goes on and on and on. The miles and miles of security considerations you have when you set up your own web server. Or you can use Claris' built-in security. It's completely done for you and ready to go. Then you have to define the payload format. Will you be using XML or JSON? Those are traditionally the two that you pick from. With Claris Connect, it is JSON. It's defined and it's ready to go. Then you have to set up subscriptions. That's the act of knowing which signals to listen to of all the incoming traffic, which traffic is valid or invalid, or more importantly, what events are you going to pay attention to and how are you going to process that. In Claris Connect, that's all built in. This is where you'll specify the trigger for the flow. The trigger will simply be the webhook you set up. So click, click, assign. Very easy to do in Claris Connect. How do you handle the incoming webhooks? How will you deal with the information? How will you determine and interpret that information, parse that information, and then take action on it? In Claris Connect, you'll use the actions steps. They're called flow steps that are in the form of an action. And you can determine exactly what to do with the information you've received from the incoming web data. Then there's testing and debugging. This is essentially the same between the two platforms. The webhook does need to be tested, and you will be debugging it. You can test the flow directly in Claris Connect. There's a way to test it even before it's executed. Then you can actually test with actual incoming data to be sure that your flow and your webhook is working properly. Then we have the act of monitoring and logging. How will you monitor your webhook system? How will you make sure that that web server is up and running? How will you log the events that are coming in? And to what degree will you log? Traditionally, a log if you go beyond what's built into the operating system, that's a whole nother application and then a whole nother set of skills that you have to learn just about how to log things that happen on a web server. With Claris Connect, you can track the flow logs with history, and it'll show you not only when it, that webhook was triggered, but the data that it received when it was triggered. If you wanted to go beyond the built-in logs in Claris Connect, you can certainly create additional actions and make your own logs by either entering data in a FileMaker file or doing some other kind of logging mechanism. There's a lot of different choices you have with Claris Connect on how you log things. But a basic log is included without any additional effort. Next, we have Deploy. This is where you'll set up your web server to be production ready to accept data from the internet. There could be any number of things to do to set that up. On Claris Connect, it's a simple toggle to activate your flow. 
in anticipation for production data. Next, we have the maintenance of your webhook. For a traditional web server, this is extensive. You are responsible to keep the operating system up to date. You are responsible to keep all the other environmental variables up to date. For example, if you deployed a custom logging system, the PHP code that you might have used in order to interpret the incoming data and to parse it a certain way and then to take action on that, that all has to be updated. Speaking of PHP, if you are going to use PHP for this, you have to make sure that your PHP version is also updated to keep up with the times to make sure that it's secure, locked down, and relevant. On Claris Connect, that is completely handled by Claris. They'll take care of all the OS updates, any environmental updates that need to happen, all being handled by Claris behind the scenes. So let's boil this down to a final summary here. These are the things you need to do to create a traditional webhook with a traditional web server somewhere out in the wild with your own two hands. You have to become an expert on a lot of different things in a lot of different areas, and you are going to find a lot of labor when it comes to maintaining this, monitoring it, logging it, and making sure that it works as it should. Compare that with Claris Connect, everything here with a smiley face and the sunglasses indicates something that's either a click of a button or completely hands-free because it's taken care of behind the scenes. Where these two compare pretty much toe-to-toe -to -toe would be number seven, how do you handle the incoming information with the webhook or what actions do you want to take based on the information you're gathered? That's about the same amount of effort, although I would argue that it is actually easier using Claris Connect because you are not writing PHP code to handle those actions or something like that. You're just simply creating new flow steps in the Claris Connect mechanism, which does not require any kind of knowledge of programming language or any kind of elaborate debugging. So yes, I still give Claris Connect the advantage there on number seven. Number eight, I'd say that's about the same. When it comes to testing the webhook to make sure that the data goes from A to Z, yes, that's about the same. But as you can see here, the vast majority of the webhook complexity and setup and configuration is going to be made in the shade. If you want to learn all about Claris Connect, we have a course called Claris Connect Fundamentals available at ProductiveComputingUniversity.com. We'd love to see you there so you can learn how to set up your own webhooks, your own steps, and your own actions in Claris Connect and take full advantage of the Claris platform once and for all, bringing new solutions and innovation to your customers and end users. Thanks for joining us on this video. We'll catch you on the next one.